This video, sponsored by, Wix.com. Hey everyone, welcome back again. This tutorial is different. Many of you have asked, how I made my own website. The spoiler alert, I made it, using Wix.com. And this tutorial is going to cover, some basics of using Wix.com. Let's get started. Making a website, requires programming skill. And this is what I have never learned in my life. Either I need to learn to programming language. Or I have to hire a web developer. And ask him to implement my idea, into a web page. This is really time consuming as it can be hard to explain to someone, what you actually want. Then, I saw a Wix.com ad, and tried using it for my own. And trust me, it was way better. I can do any change I want. Without having the knowledge of any coding at all. All it requires a few click, as well as, drag and drop. So let's take a look, how can you create a stunning website, using Wix.com. Alright, go to the Wix.com, and create a user account, enter your email address, password, and click on the sign up button. Just answer a few questions, such as category, or theme of your website. We are going to make a portfolio website, and we never did this before. The best feature of Wix, it comes with artificial design intelligence which is going to design your website by itself. You also have the option for choosing the template. We will take a look at it later. Let's go with the Wix Artificial Design Intelligence. Select the category portfolio, and then choose the category, which describes your business very well. Also, choose the features, which you are looking for. For example, I want the subscribe form, as well as, the blog. Select them, and then click on next. Now enter the name of your website, and provide a few information. You can add your social media accounts as well. Click next, and you are good to go. Pick a theme which you like. I will go with a clean one. And then hit continue. It will create your website right away. You can start with this design, and make the changes you want. I am going to use template for my website, so let's take a look. Now we are creating the website step by step. After creating your account, click on create a new site, and then choose the category, which you are looking for. We are looking for creating the portfolio and CV. So let's click on the CV. Then click on choose a template, and it will show some pre-made Wix templates. These are high quality templates, which you can choose to start with. In case you don't like any of these templates, you can switch to a different category. As well as, you can use the search option, or you can start with a blank template. Let's see if we can find anything, from these pre-made templates. I think this template will look nice. You have the option, to view the template, and this is how this template is going to look. Cool. This template is perfect for what I am looking for, it has this nice looking animation, as well as the parallax effect. Which is trendy nowadays. So let's start working on it. Click on edit this site button, and wait until the Wix editor loads. Nice animation by the way. One thing I like about the Wix, everything is drag and drop. You can select any elements, and place them any way you want. I repeat, any way you want. I can even change the logo position as well. Cool. Let's quickly add the text now. I am a motion graphic designer, so let's call it a motion designer. You can always choose a different font for your website. But I will suggest you, Use the only up to three fonts on your website. It will make the website loading faster. The Wix provides many of the fonts, which you can choose according to your theme. Let's go with the same. You can also change the color of your text from here. I don't like to go with some crazy color, 
so I am keeping the white color. You can also play with the text look, such as character spacing, as well as the line spacing. Everything is customizable. Let's select this text, and replace it with our own. By the way, you can edit the text by double clicking on it. Select your text, and then change the font size. I am going to use a font size of 15. Then grab it, and place it right here. See, how quickly we did it. Let's change the background of this strip. Click anywhere on the screen, and it will prompt these options, for changing the color of a strip. Or you can simply go to the sidebar. Here, choose the background. And you can change the color, as well as the image of the background. Let's click here, and choose change strip background. Click on the image, and a new window will appear. You can upload your own images, as well as, you can import the stock images from the Wix gallery. They provide a bunch of high quality images, without any costing. Choose any image, and then click here to change the background. It will replace the image right away. Let's go to the setting, and change the image opacity value to around 50%. Also, change the color of the background, which is going to visible behind the image. So the image is here, but we have turned down the opacity, so that we can focus on our text. Cool. Now select this text layer, and align your text into the center. We will place all the text in the center of the screen, let's align the bottom text into the center as well. Now select the text layer, and then go to the toolbar. In case this toolbar is not available here, simply, go to the tools, and select the toolbar. Now align your text into the center, and do the same with this bottom text layer as well. Cool. Let's change the logo now. Select this logo, and then hit the delete key, to remove it from the website. Now click on this add button, and here you will find the image option. Click on my image uploads, and it will open up this window. Here you can upload media from many of these options. Click on it, and then choose from computer. Let's add our logo, and wait until it finishes the upload. Now add this image onto your page. As you can see, this logo is so huge. So grab any of these corner points, and drag it towards the logo, to change the size of it. Now grab it, and attach it to the header. Cool. Now the logo is placed here. You can also add the animation on any element you like. Just select the animation, and click on this animation button. There are a bunch of animation to choose from. You can also customize any of them. Let's go with this bounce in, and then click on customize. Here, let's change the direction to from center. Check the animation, and this is how it will look. Perfect. There are a bunch of option available here, which you can try by yourself. Let's add a link on it, so that, when someone clicks on the logo, it will redirect him, on that specific page. You can link this logo with other options. Such as another web address, or any file. Let's select the page, and choose the home from this drop down. Then click done. Cool. Our home page is done, and I never typed a single line of code. Wix does it by itself for you. So you can focus on the creative part. Let's change the menu style. It has many options to modify it. You can play with the settings, and see what you like. Let's change the design of it. Click on this brush icon, and then customize. Here we have the option to change everything in this menu. Such as the color of the clicking. I am going to keep a very clean color. I think the less the color is, the more professional the design look. Also, you have the option to change the menu font as well. Let's choose a font, which will look better for the menu. I am going with this font. Also, if you notice, I have used three fonts in my design. Which I am going to follow for the entire website. 
cool. Let's see, how can we add a new page? In the top menu, click on the page, and then manage page. Here we have these default pages. You can delete any of them, or click here to add a new page. Let's call it blog, and then done. Now, the blog page is coming right after the home, which we don't want. I want the blog to appear after the contact. You can do it easily. Go to the pages, and then manage page. Simply drag out the blog any way you want. In my case, I am placing it after the contact. And now it has been changed. Pretty cool, right? Let's add a blog to our website. In the left side, you will find these bunch of icons. For adding a blog, click on add, and from this menu, choose blog. Here, click on this add to site button, and it will ask what is right for you. Blog, or the member area. I am going to use the Wix blog, and then click next. Of course, you can try both, and see what is your requirement. And now our blog is ready. You can customize anything here. Simply click on the blog section, and then setting. Now go to the design, and choose anything you want. Let's change the layout of it. We have a bunch of layout for a blog. Each design depends on your website idea. You can modify anything you want. Let's go with this one column design, and then we will start modifying it. Let's change the color of it first. Again click on the setting, go to the design. Here, I am going to change the color of the blog. Because we are following the gray accent, so I am going to change the button color, as well as the hover color to gray. This is how it will look now. Of course, you should take your time, to make a perfect design for your blog. Let's change the color of the button as well. This button is placed right here. I am going to use the same gray color for the button. Then you can play with the opacity, to get the look of your choice. Cool. And this is how it will look now. In case, you want to add a new post to this blog, simply click on the manage post button. Here you will find all the posts of your blog. If you want to delete anything, simply click on these dots, and then move to trash. In case you want to edit any blog post, simply click on edit, and change anything you want. Make sure to publish the changes, by clicking on this publish changes button. Let's change the author name as well. You can also create a new post by clicking on this button. Cool. And now we made a blog, in under 3 minutes. One thing I have noticed, it has created a blog page by itself. So we need to delete the blank page we have created. Again go to the page, and manage page. Here go to the site menu, and click on the blog page, which we have created, and then delete it. Let's rename this page, as the blog, but in the capital, and this is how it will look now. Cool. Let's move to the next step. I am going to delete this section, because I don't need it. Also, this professional section looking good to me. Of course, you should change your skills according to your knowledge. Let's add my YouTube channel in the portfolio. But first, select this image gallery, and delete it. Again click on the add, then go to the video. Here we have the option to add video. You can add a single video by uploading it, or YouTube link. Or even you can use the player itself. Simply grab it, drag it, and drop it. And this is how the channel player will look now. Let's connect this player with our channel. Click on the setting, and then get started. Hit OK, and you can upload your video from several services, such as your computer, or Google Drive. Let's paste our YouTube channel link here, and then click Next. Click on Add Feed, and our channel has been added. Close this window, wait for a little, and it is showing coming soon. All you need to do, select this channel, and it will show YouTube channel immediately.
Let's scale the width of the player, by dragging the edge of it. One thing you can see, it is overlapping the bottom section. For moving it, simply click on the top, and here you will find this icon. Click on it, and drag it to the bottom, until space has been cleared. It is increasing the height of our website, so it won't overlap with the bottom objects as well. Cool. Let's move to the next step. Wix website also comes with a mobile version. So that your website looks good on the mobile as well. All you need to do, click on this mobile icon. And this is how the website going to look on the mobile device. In case you are not happy with the look of it, you can customize anything. Such as menu, or even the position of it. I am going with the default one. Let's increase the height of the section. Simply, select and drag it to the bottom. Also, select the text, and place them into the center. Cool. We also have the option to increase or decrease the size of our text. Simply, select the text, and click on this negative icon, to decrease the size of it. You can also hide a few contents, which you don't want to reveal on a mobile version. Because a few scripts can be heavy for a mobile phone. Let's remove this blank space here. Click on delete space, and then we also need to remove it. I am going to grab it from the bottom, and placing it just right below here. Also, click on delete space button once again, and now we are done. This is the website which we have created in just a few minutes. Spend a little more time, and you can create a professional looking website for yourself. Visit the first link in the description, and check out the Wix.com today. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I'll see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and sayonara.